Hey guys, my name is still JJ. By the way, we've been living in this poor and smelly house for years. It's not as bad as you think. We play with cockroaches every day. Ha ha, they're pretty fun, guys. I'm feeling a little hungry. Me too, Mikey. I haven't eaten anything in a couple days. I could use some steak. I have an idea. Maybe we should look for some food in our fridge. I don't think there's gonna be any food in there, Mikey, but it's worth a look. A uh, problem. There's nothing here but ice. And where are we gonna get food? Maybe there's some food crumbs in there. It's empty, Mikey. There's nothing. I'm so sorry. That's not good. And then what do we do? I'm so hungry. My health will soon be gone. I need something to eat right away. What do you suggest I do? We're too young to earn money for food. Hey, kids, we're home. Oh, parents are here. How cool. I hope you brought food. We got our paychecks today. We bought you some food. We're just hungry. Let's get it over here. I'm already drooling for food. And what did you buy for us? You're going to love it. Well, come on. What did you buy? Maybe they're hamburgers from McDonald's. Or maybe it's the Nuggets from KFC. Sounds delicious, you know? Everything here sounds delicious when you don't eat for a few days. Unfortunately, we don't make that much money. We only had enough money for potatoes. Oh, uh, really? We're gonna eat nothing except potatoes. Sorry, guys, but there will be no other food for a while. Yeah, how are we ever gonna eat one potato? We're gonna keep getting hungry. We need at least 10 of these potatoes to eat for the day. It's not much, but at least it's something. We're too poor to afford much food. Go for a walk. You're getting too depressed from all that food. Oh, uh, what? What are we supposed to do outside? Maybe eat some homeless guy on the street. Mikey, that's a genius idea. There's always a bunch of meat walking around outside. Let's enjoy some fresh meat. Get outside already. We have a lot to do at home. Bye, Mom. Dad, we'll be back tonight. Well, Mikey, let's go find ourselves some food. There's a better chance of finding it than just waiting for it at our house. We're like primitive berry pickers. Oh, yeah. I can already sense that food is hiding from us somewhere nearby. Oh, yeah. Maybe we've gone crazy with our hunger. We need to find food now. Oh no, my stomach's starting to rumble again. It's making it painful to run. I know exactly what you mean, Mikey. Whoa, there's a dump over there. That's where they usually throw leftovers. We can eat there. At least it's our last chance to find food and not starve to death. I don't know. We'll stink like homeless people later if we go through the dumpsters. If we don't eat, we die. I'd rather be stinky but alive. Are you sure there's any food in here at all? Of course. You just have to look for it. It's at the bottom somewhere. Hmm, okay. I'd do anything for food, even dive headfirst into a dumpster. Then let's go. Start first. We need everything that's edible. Moldy food, stale bread, burnt pizza, anything. How's that? Did you find anything? Come on out. Wait a second. I think I found something really cool. You're not going to believe this. Well, what did you find? Show me now. I found this beautiful apple. I didn't go through this dump for nothing. Hey, stop. Leave me half. Mikey, hey. It was delicious. Why the hell didn't you leave me even a little piece of apple? I'm actually hungry, too. Ouch, you're hurting me. One apple is enough for you, JJ. I'm your brother. You should always share with your brothers. And you didn't. You're such a freak. I'm sorry, JJ. I didn't think about it. You never think about anything at all. Now go find me a second apple. But it stinks in there. I don't care. Go and find it. I'm hungry, too. And you're not. If I found an apple, I'd be sure to share it with you, Mikey. You're selfish. There's nothing edible at all. There's a lot of boxes and bottles. Oh, my God, and what do I do now? All I found was some kind of ticket. It looks like a lottery ticket. I don't know how much it's worth, but I think it's just someone's idea of a joke. Hey, stop right there. Give me that ticket. Are you out of your mind? If we win the lottery, we'll be super rich. Wow, that's right. I didn't think of that at all. We may never go hungry for that ticket again. Then let's take this to our parents and make them happy. They'll be so surprised. What are you, an idiot? I was kidding you. Nobody wins the lottery. This piece of paper is worthless. You're so easy to fool, Mikey. Oh, that's too cruel a joke, JJ. It's not funny at all. Let's go home already. We can't find any more food. We'll tell you how you ate a whole apple by yourself and didn't share. Oh my god, parents are not going to be happy about this. Three hours later. Maybe you won't tell your parents about that apple. Next time, I'll give you all the food I can find. No way. I'm telling mom and dad. You have to share food with the whole family. You're only thinking about yourself. Hey, hello, mom, dad. Hey, kids. How was your walk? Did you find some food? Yes, we found the apple and Mikey ate it all by himself. Oh, my God. He really ate it and didn't share it? Yes, he's selfish. He eats everything and doesn't share it with anyone. I accidentally did it. Please forgive me. Mikey, you did a very bad thing. 
We need to take care of each other at all times. I've already realized that. I was so disappointed to only eat one potato today. I'm so sorry. All right, enough with the insults. You'll find more food tomorrow. Now, children, go to bed, both of you. It ended too well for you. Lie down on your tiny beds on the floor. Oh, my God. But it's so uncomfortable and cold to sleep in there. I don't care. Hurry up and go to bed. I've been scolded so much. Someday we'll be rich and we won't starve. Dream on, Mikey. Okay, it's bedtime. Tomorrow, maybe we'll find a whole bunch of apples. I'd like to be a comic book superhero who can make food out of thin air. Unfortunately, that's impossible. It doesn't matter. Good night, JJ. Good night, Mikey. Wow, he fell asleep so fast. He must have been really tired today. Good night, everyone. Who's that ringing the doorbell? What the hell is going on? I'm getting scared. It's early morning. Only a crazy person would ring the doorbell this early. What am I supposed to do? My parents are still asleep. This guy's going to wake everyone up now. Okay, I'll talk. Hey, you almost woke everybody up. Congratulations to you. You've won the lottery. Give me your ticket. Uh, okay. Here you go. Just let me sleep already. Boy, are you stupid? You've become a rich man. I'll give you a bank check for a huge pile of diamonds. You can move out of this crummy house. What kind? of check. Here's that check. You go to the bank with this check and get your diamonds. You're a lucky man. I'm even jealous of you. JJ, 9999999999 diamond. That seems like a lot. Bye-bye. Congrats again. Okay, bye. What a weird guy. I have to go back to sleep. Oh, what are you doing awake like that? Who was that dude? Uh, I don't know. He gave me some kind of check for a bunch of diamonds. Said I won the lottery. Some other fool. Uh, you're an idiot, JJ. We won the lottery. We have tons of money now. Uh, wow. I, uh, seriously. I just realized it now. Now finally we won't starve and can afford endless burgers. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Ha 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 ha. Yay. All that's left is to tell your parents about it. What are you guys yelling about? It's still morning. We want to go back to sleep. JJ wins the lottery. Yes, they gave me a check for a million diamonds. That's a lot of money. Whoa, JJ, you're a very lucky son. The luckiest man I know. Listen, son, are you going to share your winnings with your family, aren't you? Still, we could use the money, too. We should buy more potatoes. I'd buy some apples. Yes, of course. I'll share the money with you. We'll buy us a huge and rich house and lots of food. Thank you so much, JJ. I don't spare any money for my family. I'm proud of you, son. We're also going to buy a big car with you. And in the new house, we'll each have our own big room. That sounds so beautiful. Oh, yeah. Four to six days later. I've never driven such an expensive car in my life. Thank you, JJ. If it wasn't for you, none of this would have happened. Glad to help, Dad. Actually, it was Mikey who found this ticket, but he wanted to throw it away, so I kept it. Yeah, I'm an idiot. JJ's the smart one. Come on, let's go home. I'm hungry. Hungry? Ha ha ha. We bought so many bags of food. Let's go home and eat properly. Those food bags are so heavy. Yeah, it feels like we robbed a grocery store or decided to open our own. I've never seen so much of my own food. Our house turns out to have a garage. I'm so excited to see our house. It looks like a big castle. Go ahead. We'll catch up with you. We've got more food bags to unload. Okay, let's go see our house and then we'll eat with you. You and I can do so many fun things in this house and our parents can stay off work and play with us every day. Yeah, you're right. We are so rich. Why should we even work when we have enough money to last us a lifetime? Wow, this place is so cool. Wow, we didn't spend a lot of money on this for nothing. Although we have so much more in reserve that we could buy a thousand houses just like it. Oh, that's cool. Let's go see our room. I think there's a lot of fun stuff in there. You're sure to love it there. I bought cool beds and a powerful computer. Now you and I won't have to sleep on the floor like we used to. Look at all this, how expensive it all looks. I like it very much. I can't wait to finally sleep on these beds. But that's not all. Let's go see the next rooms. We're gonna have a lot of fun here. Oh yeah, I completely forgot that we have another cool room where we're gonna play with Mikey. We've got tons of toys in here. And it all belongs to us alone. I don't know how cool that is. I couldn't even dream of this before. Okay, this is all very cool. What other rooms do we have? All right, that's our bathroom. It's so big. In the last house, we had a toilet outside. It was inconvenient to poop in the winter. I was freezing hard at the time. Now no one here will freeze when they have to poop. That seems to be your favorite topic of conversation, JJ. Let's go downstairs. Our mom 
mom must have made a delicious dinner for the whole family. I was just getting hungry. Hopefully it won't be potatoes or apples. Mommy, we're hungry. What we have to eat. We have all kinds of food on the table that you could ever want. Just look at it. I can already smell the roasted meat and stewed vegetables from here. Let's go to the table, JJ. I can't wait to eat. Okay, let's go. Bon appetit. Oh my god, this is so good. It's delicious. Thanks to JJ for all of this. JJ's a really cool dude. We're rich because of him. I am so pleased that I have made my family so nourished and happy. How lucky we all are. Now no one's gonna berate each other over some apple. <laughs> The apple situation was really funny. The next morning. Ah, uh, another beautiful day in my life. It's good to be rich. I'm the richest and coolest kid in the world. I have interesting toys, my own room, a TV with my favorite cartoons, and of course I have an awesome, expensive computer. I don't know how much it costs though. I was just told it was expensive. Huh, but it doesn't matter at all. I also want to ask my parents for a PlayStation 5. Let's buy it, please. Honey, we don't have to buy this. But why? Because, uh, hey, JJ. Hi. You came just in time. Your mom made breakfast. I did my best for all of us. Cool. I hope there will be pancakes. Sit down at the table and enjoy your meal. Thanks, Mom. Anyway, we can't afford to buy it because you're offering too cheap an option. But I thought it was a great option for our son. And I think we should buy something bigger and more expensive. What could be more expensive than a private helicopter? Private jet. Um, if you're interested, and I'd love a PlayStation 5, Huh, we totally forgot about JJ's opinion. Uh, Mom and I thought about getting you a gift. Oh, really? But you decided. Good for you. Yeah. Honey, it's time to go to work. Okay, let's go. Oh, we have plenty of money already. Why are you both even working? JJ, there's no such thing as too much money. And money tends to run out. Here you go. It's for your expenses. Have fun. Oh. And JJ, we're going to get you a helicopter and an airplane after all. Oh, my God. We have a lot of money. Buy whatever you want. Cool. There are so many things I want to buy. I'm going out on the town. Honey, we have to go to work. Time is money. Yes, let's go quickly. Oh, today I'm going to buy myself in game console and eat fast food and drive around Just one town. condition, JJ. You have to be home by tonight. Okay, Dad. No problem. We're very worried about you. You don't have any more restrictions. Yeah. Mom put lunch in the fridge. Hmm. There's mashed potatoes and cutlets. All right, we gotta go. JJ, have a great day. Okay, thank you. Uh. Call us if you need to give more money. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Hope you both are having a good day too. And have a good day at work. It's nice to live in a rich family. And I'll soon have my own airplane and helicopter awesome. I have the best family and life in the world. I'm gonna drive around town and throw money around because I can afford it. And if I run out of money, I can ask for lots and lots more. Oh, I certainly don't have the coolest car, but that's good enough for me for now. Let's go. Because even with a car like this, I can go wherever I want, whenever I want. That's rich freedom. And the best part for me is that there's never a dull moment. I always have something to keep me busy. Oh, my stomach can't even rumble anymore. I haven't eaten in a week, I'm so hungry. How did I, Mikey, get so unlucky in life? I'm poor, I have no family at all. And all I can do is beg for food and money from passers-by. I wish a miracle would happen, I'm so tired of living like this. I would just be given the opportunity to get out of this poverty and I would be immensely grateful by now. But there are no good people in the world. Two hours later. Hmm, except when I'm alone because I have no friends. Uh, but I don't need friends. After all, why do I need friends when I have lots and lots of money? Money is my friend. I'm so hungry. Uh, no, 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 no. I just can't pass in a situation like this. I just gotta have fun. Apparently, I'm gonna starve to death. Hey, hi. What's your name? Uh, hi. My name's Mikey. And my name is JJ. What's up? JJ, I don't have any money for food. Please help me. Oh. I won't stay in your debt. I'll do my best. Oh, that sounds interesting. Where's your house? Funny, that's my house. Huh, what? It's just a bunch of paper. Well, that's how I live my life. Mikey, I've made my decision. I'm gonna help you. I would really appreciate it, as I can barely feel my stomach anymore. I'll give you one diamond. <gasps> is that true? Yes, of course. Yay! I knew there were miracles in life. Hmm. I can finally eat properly. Yay! Thank you kindly, JJ. Ha! Give me that, please. But first you have to do something for me. Uh, what do you need? Come on. It won't be that hard for someone like you, I'm sure. Hmm. Mikey, don't you want the diamond? No, I won't recant. I'll do whatever you want. Cool. Here's a look. It's pretty simple. You'll have to do what you normally do. Hmm. Well, if it's a task I can handle, I'm all for it. Give me the diamond. Nah. I'm not just gonna give it to you. Oh, hmm. Huh. Now it's all in place. Uh, JJ, wait, why'd you do that? Dig through the trash, beggar. Ouch! Did you really think I wanted to help you? <laughs> Funny. <laughs> and your tears won't help you, beggar. And I believed you. Huh, how silly you are. That stupid boy really thought I'd help him. He's a beggar, what good is he? Huh, no use. Oh, that was a lot of fun. I'm starving myself, so I'm going to go out and get something good to eat. I'm gonna eat my fill of junk food, yay. <laughs> JJ, why are you so bad? Uh, JJ, 
Ah, he's already gone. I don't want to go through the garbage, but I'm afraid this is my last chance for survival. I'd like to buy something useful with this diamond, so I have no choice. Ew, who threw away a moldy tomato? Ew, I stepped in it. <gasps> I found it, that's the diamond. That's right, this suffering will pay off for me. And I have a great idea what I'm gonna buy with that diamond. I'm gonna open my own lemonade stand and make my first money. Success! The next day. Hello again, everyone. I decided to take another ride around my town. I'm thinking of buying myself a couple of new Rolexes. Come on over and buy some lemonade from Mikey's. A cold, delicious, and refreshing drink at a low price. What? Is that Mikey? He was living in a dumpster yesterday. That can't be. Lemonade. Buy lemonade. Just what you need in hot weather. Oh, hey, JJ. Hey, Mikey. Where'd you get the money for your lemonade stand? You opened it all for one diamond? No, I've been saving for a long time to start my own small business. You're a homeless beggar. You couldn't save up. You must have stolen and money from someone. Okay, never mind. Pour me your lemonade quickly. Oh, you want some of my lemonade? That'll be ten diamonds, buddy. What? Ten diamonds for your stinking dirty lemonade from the dump? I'd rather drink from a puddle than from you. If you don't want it, don't buy it. Look how many diamonds I have. Sixty-four of them. I'd rather burn them than buy your disgusting lemonade. Don't you have anything better to do? Don't do it. I'll do it. That's it. Those diamonds could have been yours, but now they're gone. Why did you do that? You know I don't have much money and you burned it. Because I've been trolling you. You're ridiculous. You're a pauper. You stink. Dink. Get out. You'll scare away all my clients with your pranking. You won't have any customers. I should really get back to my business in my sports car. Goodbye, loser. It was really funny making fun of a lowlife like Mikey. How dare he not sell me his lemonade? But I don't care about him. Maybe he's right. I have no clients at all. Nobody wants my lemonade. I probably shouldn't have opened this shop. So today I have to sell my slime for 15 emeralds. Oh, what's this? Lemonade? I've never drunk lemonade before. That's worth a drink. Hey, buddy, could you pour me some of your lemonade? I'd really like to try this unusual beverage. Never sold it and don't know what it tastes like. What? You want to buy my lemonade? It stinks and it doesn't taste good. A previous customer said some really nasty things about this shop. I'm disappointed in everything. No one needs lemonade. Buddy, you're wrong. I want to buy your lemonade. Never give up and never give in if you don't succeed right away. Now, if you could pour me a cup of that drink. Don't give up. You're the first person who ever believed in me. Thank you. Lemonade, yes now. I'll pour you the freshest, most delicious lemonade I have. You know, I like you. I could sell you lemonade at a discount if you came to my place more often. Okay, buddy. Six months later. Here I am again, one of the richest men in this town. I'm out for a walk in my high-powered car. Should I get some coffee? No, I don't want to. Oh, there's a new bank here. I think I should go inside. I want to put my money in it. It's not cool to keep everything in cash. I wonder who's rich enough to open a whole bank. I wouldn't mind meeting a rich guy like that. So I walk up to him and I knock him out. Oh, you're a cool guy. Hello, I want to go to your bank. Let me in. Wait, wait, not so fast. Do you have any money? We don't let poor people in here. Yeah, if there's no money, get out. Oh, I don't have any money. I have diamonds. 64 grand. Look, I'm a rich guy. Can I go in now? Yeah, I think you're rich enough for our bank. You can come in now. Sorry to bother you. Okay, remember me? I'm the richest man here and you're just the servants. Okay, now I need to find the owner of this bank here. I should make an interest-bearing deposit. I'm sure he knows all the smart words. Maybe he's in the vault counting his money right now. Oh, is that a new visitor to my bank? What, JJ, what are you doing here? Mikey, wow, you've gotten so rich in the last six months. You started your own bank when you started in a dumpster. Yeah, JJ, it's my bank and my money. Did they tear down that stand? You're such a loser, and it's not your money. I bet you work here as a janitor. You were in the vault to mop the floors, and you're still funny. Okay, first of all, this is my bank. Second of all, you're terrible. You're not welcome here. And three, you're about to get kicked out by my guards. What? You wouldn't dare. Guys, come here. We're here, boss. You called us? Yeah, why'd you let him in here? Because he has money. You're wrong. This man is on the blacklist. What? Blacklisted? Yeah, get him out of here. I don't want to see him around here again. Okay, come here, man. Now we're gonna kick you out. No, you don't. You wouldn't dare. I'm rich. I'll have my revenge. Don't ever come here again. Loser, head in the mud. Nobody wants your money if you're acting like an idiot. Yeah, you're a complete idiot for coming here. You're right, Chief. He's a complete idiot. Nasty, horrible, rude, JJ. Yes, yes, he's very rude. And he's also very nasty. I've noticed that. Me too. Oh my god, my head hurts so bad. Those two guards beat me up pretty bad. Heh, <laughs> you got off easy. We could have knocked you unconscious. Get out of here. You're not allowed in. All right then. I'll find another bank where my money's safe. You two losers. You know, I've been beaten over the head pretty badly. I think I was mean to Mikey. I want to apologize to him, but they won't let me in the bank anymore. I'll have to wait until closing time. I hope Mikey forgives me. Three hours later. I've been waiting here for Mikey for so long. My legs and my back are stiff. I'm not used to apologizing to anyone. But right about now, that bank is closing. Mikey has to go home. And my parents are already waiting for me at home. Oh, there's Mikey. He's locking up his bank. It's a good time to go to him. It was a good day. Hey, Mikey, Mikey, stop. Let's talk. 
I want to talk to you about something. JJ, what do you want to talk to me about? I was rude to you at the bank today. Yeah, that was rude. Mikey, I'm so sorry. I've been acting really bad this whole time. Insulting you, humiliating you. I'm so ashamed I won't do it again. I'm sorry, Mikey. Oh, I didn't expect you to say that, JJ. I forgive you. Can we be friends again like we used to be? Don't fight and live peacefully. Yes, of course. That's a great idea. Then let's go out tomorrow. It's been so long since we've seen each other and talked like real friends. Yes, of course. I'd love to walk with you. Oh, that's great. And now it's too late. I have to go home. I think you should too. Yeah, I gotta go home too. See you tomorrow, Mikey. Bye-bye, JJ. See you tomorrow, my friend. Goodbye, Mikey. The next day. Oh my god, just look at this delicious bread. I'm so hungry. You know, friends, my family forbids me to eat too a lot. They save on food and they don't like me. Even though they eat a bunch of food themselves, I can't even eat a piece of this bread. Ha <laughs> ha, my stomach is full of food. Oh my god, that's not fair. They have delicious food on their table and I have to chew on this bread. I have to eat it very quietly so they don't hear me. Whoa, what is that? They left a plate of delicious and shiny fruit on the table? I just have to try them to taste them. Again, let's not forget my stealth. I'm a born ninja, a very hungry and poor ninja who will steal this beautiful apple right now. Yeah, I got it. Who's making that noise? I think it's JJ who's the idiot. He's playing his stupid games again. Uh, yeah, I'm just playing. Don't mind me. I'm out of here. Stop right there. Where's the apple that was on the saucer? Ouch. Who told you not to eat? Hey, I haven't eaten anything in two days and you've gotten so fat. JJ, you're grounded. You're gonna sit in this closet for the rest of the day. Hey, not in the closet, please. I hate you, idiot. Hey, 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 hey. They don't know I stole bread and an apple during lunch. That's what I'll be fed on for the next two days. And here's my delicious bread. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, yeah. This is delicious. Nom, 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 nom. This is so good. Two hours later. Yeah, it's not the most interesting read, you know. Hey, freak. I got a job for you. Don't call me that, please. Shut up. You need to wash Mikey's clothes. He soiled himself in some really good food. Uh, why doesn't he wash his own clothes? Because I don't want him to work. And I don't care about you. I don't love you. You're only a servant in our house. I will not wash his stinking clothes. Then you won't eat for another week. Get back to work. Oh my god, that's not fair. All people need to eat every day. I hate you. I'm so unlucky to have such stupid and mean parents. Hey, what did you say? Say that again right now. I said that I love our whole family very much. I'll do whatever you tell me to do. Huh, what a deaf old man you are. God, why did I have to do all this? Wash Washing Mikey's dirty underpants is so embarrassing. Friends, who in your family washes your dirty clothes? Write about it in the comments. Okay, I think Mikey's underpants are already clean and can be pulled out of this river. All that's left is to put his clothes in his drawer. I'm wondering how he got food all over his clothes. He's so dirty. He probably just smears food on his underwear for fun. God, while I'm starving, Mikey's feeding his clothes. It's so frustrating, you know? By the way, where's Mikey now? Maybe he's in the bathroom right now? I should check it out. Uh, no, he's not here. Then where is he? I'm not allowed in his room, am I? Where should I put his clothes? Okay, I'll sneak into his room and put his clothes in his drawer. There's no Mikey. Where the hell is he? He's got such a big room. I live in a small closet that's very cramped and dusty. He also has so many toys. I'm so jealous of him. I don't have a single toy, but he has a whole box of fun stuff. Okay, it's time to put all his clothes away and get out of here as soon as possible. That's it. It's done. I hope I don't get another mission after this one. I really want one of these toys for myself, but I'm gonna get punished for it. That's it. Time to go to my closet. Hey, what are you even doing here? I just wanted to put your clothes in your drawer. Get out of here. You're not allowed in here, stupid JJ. Okay, okay. Stop hitting me. So you're thanking me for washing your clothes? Oh, that's your responsibility, stupid. No one's allowed in my room. I bet you've been touching my toys, too. You're so mean. Don't expect any more help from me, Mike. He beat me up for it. I'm so hurt. Nobody loves me in this family. Why do I even live here? Hey, JJ, don't bother me watching TV. Oh, that's it. I'm getting out of this stupid house. I hate every single person who lives here. It's time to pack up all my supplies and find a new home. I have one diamond. That's enough for a while. I also have a broken old toy. Well, that's enough for me to live on my own. Better than living in a family where no one loves you. <laughs> now that's a really cool movie. 
moment. Hey, JJ, give me a foot massage now. Massage yourself. I'm not your son anymore. You're a freak. Well, friends, what can I do now? Write about it in the comments. I'm a free and independent man now. Goodbye, my unloved family. I hope I never see you again. Uh, yeah, let's go. A few moments later. Here's your store. That'll be one diamond. Wow, I have just the diamond for that. Now I have my own personal store. Not bad. Nice doing business with you, JJ. You too, buddy. It's time to make the coolest juice store in town. Come on, come on, JJ. Work harder. He's so good. He's starting his own business from scratch. I'd just be too lazy to do it all. Hi, friends. As you can see, I'm a businessman now. I have my own personal store where I sell the most delicious juices. And here's my store. It's really cool, huh? Before I bought this store, it was so dirty and dusty, but I fixed it up and cleaned it up. I put all my money in here. Now I will hope that my juices will be bought. And if they don't, I will be in big trouble. I have carrot, watermelon, and apple juices. They are all sorted into these trunks. In my opinion, these are the best-selling juices in the world. And of course, I'm just selling water. Very tasty, healthy, and refreshing water. Now I've got to get some customers. Hey, people, come and buy the most delicious juice in the world. Watermelon juice is the best. Carrot juice is the healthiest. Apple juice is the coolest. I'm so thirsty for plain water. Hey, don't go away. I've got cold water for sale. What, really? Some new store opened up here. It just opened. Buy my water. Isn't it poisoned? No, look at this. Wow, you are so awesome drinking that water. I want to buy it from you. Of course. Here you go, buddy. But it costs money. Wait, if I like it, I'll pay you. What? But that's not fair. Hey, pay first. Mmm. Oh, yeah. It's really very refreshing water. Pay your money. Water isn't free, man. Okay, here's the money. Thanks for the water. Wow, a diamond for a bottle of water? That's kind of a lot. I have more yummy juices in different flavors. I can sell you those, too. Hmm. Give me some more watermelon juice. I haven't drunk watermelon juice in a while. Huh. Okay, buddy. I give you my word. These these juices taste great. Well, I'll trust you. Get that juice over here now. <laughs> here you go. Drink this. It's an unforgettable feeling, isn't it? How's that? Did you like it? Dude, this is the most delicious juice ever. I'm glad to hear that. Here's your money. You've earned it. I really enjoyed it. Come again. I still have plenty of juice left. Bye-bye. I'll always be here. What a good customer. He left me a whole diamond. I've already paid off this store. My store has finally started making me real money. I'm going to be a real rich man very soon. And here's my favorite toy. I fixed it, by the way. It's the only thing that comforts me at night. I'll keep all my money in this chest. Let's see how much I'll earn in the near future. I'll try to earn as much as I can. Later. Mikey, do you want us to buy you a couple pounds of candy? Uh, no. I want some burgers. That's a good idea. Let's go to McDonald's. Open up. Police. <gasps> oh, my God. Police. What are they doing here? Mom, I'm scared. Maybe they'll take us to jail. Stop panicking. We didn't do anything wrong. I'll talk to them and they'll go away. Well, okay, let's talk. Nobody move. Hands up. You're surrounded. Don't make any sudden movements. There's so many police here. It's not like we've even committed a crime. Turn around, you stupid child. Uh, okay. They're unarmed? Okay, everybody get over here now. Oh, what's going on? You have committed the worst crime in our country. You didn't pay your taxes. Do people go to jail for little things like that? Are you serious, officer? For such a small thing you come here and point your guns at us you mean for a small thing you can go to jail for life for that kind of thing um and if we pay these taxes now will you leave us you have too much tax debt but if you give me a lot of money now i won't touch you we'll just take your house as compensation what where do you think we're gonna live i don't want to be homeless but okay i have no choice take these diamonds and don't send us to jail ha 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 i love money much 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 later oh my god i have so many visitors and they all want my juice hey where's your juices quickly pour me the best stuff Wow, that's a lot of diamonds. Don't be afraid. There's enough juice for everyone. Drink. Don't choke on it. More. More juice. Get me some juice quick. I'll pay any money. Okay, okay. One second. Ha 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 ha. That's so cool. More. Give me more juice. I can't live without your juice. Here you go. Who wants more juice? I want to. Pour me first. I'll pay you in diamonds. Juice me first. Anything for your money, sir. I'll pour you the best juice. Hey, what's taking so long for my order? I only have two hands. Don't worry. No one here will be left without my specialty juice. JJ, you're your juice is just divine nectar. I can't live without your juice. Well, that's good to hear from you. I'm going to go count my money. I have recently become much richer than I was on my first day of work. Just look at how many diamonds and money I have in my chest. Looks like I'm the richest man in this town. I like it.
Hey, Dad, stop drinking beer. We're hungry. JJ, we don't have any money for food. And what do we do? I don't want to drink beer. We need to find a way to get money and food. Do you remember when JJ used to live with us? Uh, well, yeah. Then he left home. Maybe he can help us now. We used to bully him all the time. I don't think he wants to help us now. Yes, we did a very bad thing to him. But we have no other options. We live in a terrible house and we are starving. I don't want to just sit there with an empty stomach. I'd go and apologize to him first. Yeah, Mikey's right. At least we won't lose anything by going to him. Okay, let's go. We'll use his money. I don't feel any guilt at all. Cool. It's good to be back in my super duper cool house after a hard day's work. Think about it. I bought such an expensive house by selling some juices. That's so cool. You guys, go into business too. You won't be disappointed. Now let me show you my rich house from the inside. This is my hallway with marble columns. Very expensive, by the way. That's my kitchen in there. And there's my couch with the most expensive TV in the world. Uh oh, who's here to see me? I wasn't expecting any guests today. Hello, son. Oh no, bye bye. I don't even want to see them. Now this TV is awesome in general. Oh my God, stop ringing my doorbell. What do you want? Get out of here. JJ, please forgive us for bullying you in the past. We're so sorry. We also have nothing to eat and we don't have a proper house. Oh my God, you're such beggars. And you smell like you've been scavenging. All right, I'll let you stay with me for a while. Thank you, my son. Come to my home. I'll show off my rich house. Okay, here we go. I bought this whole house for $300 million because I'm very rich and you're not. Ha! Oh, wow. You're really cool, JJ. So we didn't have to bully you out of the house for nothing. If you say that again, you're out of the house. And this is my billiard table. I like to roll my own balls in my spare time. And here's the chill out zone. You can relax after playing with my balls. Can you please not talk about your balls anymore? I'm in charge of this house. You will listen to what I say. Okay, we already know you're the boss. You're right, father. And this is the second chill out area, but with the most expensive TV in the world. You better buy a beer for real. Beer is for losers like you, dad. And this is my kitchen. Now my mom's gonna make me hamburgers every day. Wow, this is such a big kitchen. I would love to make hamburgers for our whole family. Hey, I've got another second floor. Later, you can admire my super cool kitchen. JJ is so good. He made so much money. I'm proud of you, son. Shut up already. You're starting to piss me off. Come here, all of you. And what are you doing here? There's a dining area. In the kitchen, I prepare food, and here I eat it. Those are some funny looking fish. Oh my God, Mikey's really still a kid. Come on, I'll show you my second floor. There's all sorts of other expensive and groovy stuff. Come this way. This is where I usually wash my butt. This is the bathroom. This is fun. I'd like to take a bath here. I'll consider whether or not to let you bathe here. Now get out of my bath. This is where my gym is located. I take care of myself and work out three times a week. Nah, nah, nah. See what a great boxer I am. Oh my God, Dad. Stop embarrassing yourself. This is my private room. This is so much better than the storage closet I used to live in at your house. What's this? This is my closest friend in the world. My toy tiger and that's my mega awesome pool right there outside the window you have such a cool computer can i play games on it no of course not i forbid you from ever coming in here again hey i already apologized for my bad behavior in the past okay i forgive you but you can still play there for a little bit and this is where my barbecue area is this is where i relax and grill meat with my guests i love fried meat and sausage so much and who doesn't love them hey that's my pool right there jj we are so sorry Sorry for the way we acted with you back then. Please forgive us. We're so ashamed. Okay, I forgive you all. You're my family. You can live in this house as long as you want. Oh, that's great. Now I'm going to live in this house and swim in this pool every day. I'm so lucky. Bull, 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 bull. Hey, Mikey, you can swim, can't you? Absolutely. Two hours later. You know, Mikey, sometimes I feel like I used to be an adult. It's a really weird feeling. Um, what are you talking about? We've always been little kids. Maybe you dreamed it. Maybe so, Mikey. But I keep getting the feeling that our whole life is just an ordinary show with no meaning. Stop thinking about it. Let's go home already. We have a lot of very important things to do. We have to watch another endless SpongeBob cartoon. SpongeBob? I'm so tired of watching that cartoon. What else do you propose we do? I don't know. We should do something fun. Our rich parents parents forgive us all sorts of problems all the time. By the way, yes, we have very rich parents. I don't think they'd mind if we drove this car off a cliff. Wow, break this car down completely? That's a great idea. We could stick a bunch of TNT in there and blow it up on the flight into the pit. Yes. 
Yeah, it's definitely going to be fun. All we have to do is get our dynamite supplies out of the house. Won't our dad be upset? No, our dad is kind and never scolded us. Yes, our daddy is very good and kind. Okay, then let's go get some dynamite. Oh, children. Hi, I have great news for you. You must be pretty tired from schoolwork, huh? Yeah, we're getting sick of this school. What's the good news you got? Maybe he'll give us his car. We're going on a sea trip on a big yacht. We're rich. We can afford it. We'll be swimming in the open ocean. Wow, that's cool. When are we going? Yes, I've wanted to go sailing for a long time. When are we going to go there? Yeah, right now. Get your stuff. Grab your swim trunks, shorts, and everything you need for the resort. That's cool. I want to swim with the dolphins. The Pacific Ocean is waiting for us. I can't wait to get there already. Pack your bags now. JJ, let's hurry up and pack. They might forget we're here alone, like in that movie Home Alone. Let's go. By the way, Christmas is coming up. I wonder why it hasn't snowed yet. What kind of snow, Mikey? We're going to the sea. Forget your snow. Time to pack our toys in our suitcases. Why do we need toys at sea? There'll be no toys on the boat. Don't be stupid, Mikey. That's right. I'm going to go pack up my toy stuff. Toys at sea are the most important thing to take with you. Yeah, you're right, JJ. You packed your stuff that fast? Yeah, you just didn't notice how fast I packed. Less talk and you'll get everywhere, JJ. Wow, Mikey. You're really fast. Let's get out of here. We have time to pack your bags. Don't worry. I'll let you use my stuff and my toys. Oh, that's cool. Thank you, Mikey. You're always helping me out. Oh, come on. You don't even need clothes at sea. A couple of t-shirts, shorts, and flip-flops. And toys as the most necessary things. I have them with me. Hey, Mom, Dad, we're all set. They seem to have completely forgotten about us. Maybe they wanted to go without us. Hey, kids, what took you so long to get ready? We've been waiting for you guys. Wow, they haven't forgotten about us, Mikey. Who could forget such two beautiful boys? Those are some big suitcases you have. Yeah, there's some much-needed stuff in there. It's not a big deal. We can fit a hundred suitcases like that in our car. Such a roomy trunk? Of course it is. I wonder when we're going to go. Oh, we're talking too much. Let's go. Pack your stuff in the car and get in. I can't wait to swim in the ocean. Okay, Mom, we'll be right inside. JJ, do you think dolphins can bite a human? Probably not. Sharks bite, but dolphins don't. I hope we don't see any sharks in the ocean. I hope so, too. But after what you said, I'm afraid to go in the water. Get inside already. Friends, would you like to swim in the open ocean? Write about it in the comments. And it's time for us to hit the road. Let's go. All right, everybody ready? Here we go. Let's go towards coral reefs and beautiful fish. Coral reefs? What is that? They are such rocks of dried algae. So the algae dried up and turned to rocks. Who needs these coral reefs anyway? Uh, well, they're beautiful. They're just pretty rocks. Stop talking about your boring rocks. Get out of the car. We're here. Kids, come on out. Why? Are we there yet? Where's the open ocean? Kids, you seem to have forgotten. We're going out on the open ocean on my yacht. We are very rich and can afford it. I wouldn't marry the poor man. What did you say? And where's our boat? Oh, there's our ship over there. Wow, it's so huge. It's like a replica of our toy ship, only a hundred times bigger. I would say a million times over. Isn't it a beautiful ship? Of course it's beautiful. I wonder how much a ship like this costs. I bought this ship for a hundred billion dollars. Yeah, it's a cheap ship, I'd say. A cheap ship? JJ, I've been working on this ship for 20 years. It's a very expensive purchase. It's only 20 years. Looks like our daddy got scammed out of his money. I agree with you, Mikey. I hope this wreck can swim. Stop buzzing me. It's not a trough. It's a superb and expensive yacht. A small boat. Hee hee hee. Okay, we're just kidding. Your jokes make me nervous. That's where the captain's cabin is. Yeah, it's cool. And here's a pool where you can swim and stay out in the open sea. Wow, a pool. We're going to splash around. Let me show you the cabins on the boat. Okay, let's go. I have no idea what could be inside. Like Mom said, this is where the captain's room is. This is where he steers the boat and looks at the monitors to make himself seem too smart. Wow, you have to be really smart to understand what it says here. Can we take the wheel? We're like real captains. Looks like our parents don't want to play with us. Yeah, they just want to give this excursion on the ship. And here is the billiards. You can shoot your balls in your spare time. And that's where your bedroom is. I hope we don't fall out of our beds when we sleep there. You're not going to fall anywhere. You can stay right here. We're going to the high seas. It's so nice here. We'll have our own pool table and our own private bedroom. I wonder where our parents will sleep. It doesn't matter anymore. Let's go look at our beds. Let's go. Well, well, well. For a wreck like this ship, that's pretty good. This green bed will be mine. It's like these beds were made for us. And this red bed will be mine. Not a bad room. It's missing a TV with cartoons. Two hours later. Hello, 
friends, we've already sailed far from shore. Mikey and I decided to go swimming in the pool. I can't swim. And over there, our parents are chilling while drinking delicious tropical cocktails. I wish I could drink one of those too, but my dad says I'm too young for that. I wonder why we're not allowed to drink it. Because there is alcohol in the cocktails. Yeah, we're drinking hard while you're lying in this tiny pool. Looks like our dad's drunk again. I hope he doesn't do anything stupid. Hey, let's go swimming in the sea. It's much more fun. I don't think it's safe. He's drunk. He's allowed to be. Hey, who's drunk? Ike, I'm the soberest man on this ship. Honey, maybe you shouldn't jump. What are you worried about? It's not deep. I'm a great swimmer. Nothing will happen to me. He's drunk. And what? I have the right to swim here. Dad, don't. You could easily drown in this condition. Back off, all of you. I'm going to jump. There's going to be so much splashing. You're going to get wet. It's a very stupid idea, Dad. I'll jump with you. Let's jump together. Mikey, I forbid you to jump in there. Look how high I can jump on this board. I'm just like a frog. That's so cool. Hoo-hoo! Yeah, our father is a real drunk. Daddy, don't swim too far away. Have fun, honey. Come here. The water here is so warm and nice. This place is really cool. Swim here. I'm going to jump to you now. No, kids. You shouldn't be swimming in there. Daddy, don't swim so far away from us. It's dangerous. JJ, look. There's a shark swimming in there. Oh, my God. There's a shark. Dad, get over here. What? I can't hear you. Turn around. There's a shark right next to you. It's going to eat you. Oh, my God. She spotted our dad. Swim back. You're in danger. I'm already swimming towards you. Oh, my God. I'm so scared. She's already here. Give me your hand. I'm almost there. Oh, my God. Boo, 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 boo. Oh, my God. She's dragging him down. How are we supposed to save him now? I don't know. We have to call the rescue squad. But we're on the high seas. They can't find us. What do we do? I don't know. It looks like our father is dead. What do you mean, dead? An ordinary shark is stronger than a man. But our father is stronger. No, Mikey. We'll never see him again. So let's look at the bottom. Maybe he's coming back. No, JJ. He's not there. You know, it's such a stupid death. Mikey, don't say that. We gotta find our daddy. He's lost gone from the surface. We have to go after him. No, Mikey. If you dive in, you'll be caught by the same shark. It's too dangerous. He wanted to ride that boat so badly, and now he's gone. Oh my god, Mikey. We're gonna live without a father now. Four to six days later. Even though he liked to drink, he was a good dad. JJ, you don't have to talk bad about him right now. You were a very good and loving husband. I will always love you, my darling. I hope you're in heaven right now. I miss you. Yeah, Dad. You were always a fun and cool dude for the rest of your life. That's why I respect you. You set an example for me that I shouldn't drink alcohol in the future. Thanks for the lesson, Dad. Yeah, my death was really stupid. I shouldn't have swam in that sea. Who knew there were sharks in there? Now, because of that stupid shark, my family is mourning over my grave. Oh, my God. What am I supposed to do? We are all so sorry to hear about our dad. Yeah, I feel sorry for him, too. And who's gonna buy me the goodies? Not anymore, Mikey. I'm going to put these three roses up as a tribute to our dad. We all loved and respected our daddy very much. I'm kind of sad without my dad already. We will always miss him. The kindest, best, most understanding and brave husband has left us. Now that's a tough guy. He was a really good dad. I'm going home. You can stay here longer if you want. Yeah, our mom's really upset. We were all pretty upset. I can't imagine my life without our dad. Kids, let's go home. This place is too sad. I'm getting sick. Okay, JJ, let's go home. We won't be welcomed home by our dad anymore. No more of him playing with us, helping us, and so on. Yeah, Mikey, you're making me sad. Three hours later. There's our house. I don't feel like watching cartoons and playing with toys anymore. I'm depressed. I can't live without my husband. We all feel very bad without him. Yes, I understand all of you, but our lives don't end here. I'm sure he'd want us to move on and become good people. Our house is kind of empty. Everything seems to be in place. We miss our father back home. That's why it's so strange to be here without him. Oh, who's that ringing our doorbell? I don't know. I wasn't expecting guests tonight. Maybe they're some distant relatives of our dad's, but they didn't even write a letter. I don't like all this. What could happen? Calm down. Hello, I'm a bank agent. What do you want? Why are you here? Can I see the speaker man? He's in a lot of debt. He took a credit from our bank and didn't pay it back. What kind of credit? A credit for utility bills, for electricity, water, trash removal, and so on. If if he can't pay the money, you should do it. But our father died. His debts have been inherited by us. What are we supposed to do now? You need to give this house to the bank. If you can't pay for it, we have the right to evict you. Oh my God, are we gonna be homeless? Move out immediately. Oh my God. Now where are we gonna find that kind of money? I don't know, but we should hurry up and pack our stuff. But we just got back from a boat trip. Packing up my stuff again. But we don't even know where we'll be staying next time. We're gonna live on the street, JJ. We have no money at all. But how could it be? Our dad was very rich. No one knows where he kept his money. That's the problem. 
Oh my god! Six months later. Whew! Good morning, everyone. I've long since gotten used to living in this newspaper house. It can get cold here, but at least we have a roof under our heads. Mikey, wake up! It's time for us to look for food again so we don't starve to death. And you sleep too much anyway. Good morning. I had a dream that we were living in an old and warm apartment with our dad. But we still live on the street. And no one gave us any food today so we could have a proper breakfast. Yeah, there's nothing in that box. And what do we do now? Oh, I think I got it. Usually there's a little bit of food in the trash. Wow, rummaging through a dumpster? That's a great idea. Time for something tasty to eat. Maybe we'll get lucky and find a moldy burger. Or maybe even two or three burgers just right for the whole family. Where's the food? I'm so tired of living like this. Good morning, Mom. How's the food search going? There's nothing at all. I haven't eaten anything in two days. I've lost so much weight already. It's horrible. Don't be upset. We'll find something. We just need to put in more effort and we'll definitely get lucky. Yeah, Mikey's right. We need to work harder. Oh, what's that noise in the bushes? By the way, I heard something too. Could it be cats or other homeless people like us? Come out. Hello, family. Our dad's a ghost? Oh my God, you turned into a ghost? Yes, there is such a thing. Oh my God, is that even possible? We're running out of time. All my money is buried behind the front fence outside our house. Get it out and you'll be rich again. You won't eat from the garbage anymore. Can we go back to our house? Yes, you'll pay off all your house debts and you can live there again. Hurry up before someone else buys this house for you. Oh, that's awesome. It's all for you, my darlings. Thanks, Dad. You're the best. We're back to being rich. I love you, darling. He's helping us all out again. I wish I could continue to help you, but I have to go. I love you all very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Dad. We'll always remember you. Our father got us out of such a poor life. We can eat normal food and sleep in a normal house again. Let's go dig up Dad's treasure. Yeah, we're treasure hunters. Whatever you want. I'm gonna go dig up the money. JJ, now we can afford to buy a bunch of burgers like the good old days. I'd eat a lot of food right now. Yeah, me too. Ugh, I'm so full. I can't fit anymore. Now we can eat like this every day. It's so good to be living in this house again. Better than living in a dumpster again. Yeah, I'd stay here forever. And what delicious food there is. Eat up, kids. Now we won't go hungry. You know, it might be nice to go to McDonald's tomorrow. Yeah, that's a good idea. Now you can go play toys in your room. Oh, that's right. Now we have our own room. It's really great, isn't it? Yeah, that's cool. JJ, let's go play. Let's bust a gut after a big lunch. I have a feeling this isn't a dream. No, JJ. I already had a dream like that today. You can't have the same dream twice. Mikey, that lightning can't strike the same spot twice. And I've had the same dream a bunch of times. Dream how I've been toying with you here. And that dream became reality, JJ. Yes. What a terrible day. I'm so tired. I'm so cold. I'm so hungry. Oh, I mustn't give up. I must survive, but why is fate so cruel to me? It's been raining for so long. Not only are my feet wet, my pants are wet. If I don't find a place to keep warm, I'm afraid my feet will go to the next world before I do. But where am I going to find a warm place now? Uh, this can't be happening. Am I lucky? Oh my God. Thank God for giving me hope. There's a fire so I can warm my soaked pants in peace. They're soaked from the rain, aren't they? Uh, well, it doesn't matter. Speaking of important, hi everybody, my name is JJ. And as you can see, I'm in a very bad place right now. I have to survive at all costs because I want to. Oh, it's so warm in here. Hmm, wow, the weather's getting better. I already felt like this downpour would never end. Uh, I'm very hungry, so I'm gonna try my luck and beg for food. Maybe someone can help me in my predicament. Oh, and how nice that I was able to make a little box for passersby to put food in for me. Oh my God, it looks great. This is gonna work. I'm brimming with confidence that it's gonna work. Hmm, uh, but so far I don't see anyone around. I'll sit and wait. It must be rare for people to pass by here. Well, I'm willing to wait as long as it takes. Two hours later. Ah, uh, of course I said I'd wait a long time, but this is too long. I'm going to starve to death. Oh, my food box is still empty. At this rate, my stomach will never be full. Hmm. Oh, hmm. Oh, it's a villager. Where would I sell that leather? Hello? Hi. Don't pass by my misfortune. Help me. Mm. I'm very hungry. Oh, sure, beggar. I'll help you. I'll be happy with any food you give me, please. Stray dogs. Only bones for dinner. Uh, what's this? A bone? Ha 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 What were you hoping for? Wait. You're a beggar. I don't have time or money for you. How can you be so mean? <laughs> I can't eat a bone. Have fun being a beggar. Oh, my God. What was that? Why is he so angry? I just wanted to eat. I don't believe it. Hmm, are all people like that? My car goes vroom vroom. Uh, oh, and some people are much luckier than me. Oh, hmm, 
Still, I can't get past such a hopeless situation. A what? Hi. Hi. My name is Mikey. My name is JJ. It's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, what's your problem? I'm very hungry. I don't have any money. You don't have any food at all? Also, some passerby gave me just a bone and called me a beggar dog. What a nightmare. Can you help me, please? Oh, uh, I'll have to think about it. I won't be indebted to you if you help me, please. Hmm, interesting, interesting. I really will do anything you want. Just ask me to do it. Your situation is really serious, so I'll help you. Really? Come on. Oh. You can do one thing for me. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Follow me. Hmm. Don't be afraid. This is a simple task for you. Uh, okay. So, we're in the right place. Uh, why are we here? You've got to entertain me out of boredom for that diamond. Wait, what? Diamond? Yes, it's one diamond. Oh my god, I can eat whatever I want all day long. Only trouble is, uh, that diamond fell deep into the trash. Uh, Mikey, why did you do that? Huh, hmm. it's your job as a beggar to find this dirty diamond in this filthy trash. Wow, Mikey. And don't call me by my first name, it's disgusting. But Mikey... Have fun digging in the garbage, beggar. I see, he's just as evil as that villager. Hmm. But I know there's a diamond here. I have to find it. It's not here, and it's not here either. Oh, my God. Where's that diamond? You. Oh, I could do it. I found the diamond. But what did it cost me? Jeez. I saw things I'd never want to see again in my life. Mikey's an incredibly cruel guy if he's going to mess with me like that. I don't hold a grudge, but it's very unpleasant. The next day. Ah, uh, yesterday I was able to eat properly, but today I'm hungry again. I can't go on like this forever, but I don't know what to do. I will definitely think of something. I just have to endure this difficult moment in my life. I have to survive. I'll be asking for help from passersby until I find a solution to my hunger problem. Vroom, vroom! Oh, it's Mikey. Oh, hmm. I wish he wasn't here anymore. Hey, still starving? Why did you come here? You want to mock me? Huh, you're such a pauper. I don't want to talk to you, and I don't believe a word you say. Oh, I was going to apologize and actually give you a chance to earn some food. Hmm. But if you don't want to, I'm not taking you for a ride in my nice car. You want to go for a ride with me in this cool car? And I won't give you some more diamonds to eat. Oh. You wanted it, sorry. Ah, okay, I agree, but please let's not make fun of me. It's not very nice. Okay, okay, yay, this is going to be so much fun. Where are we going? Don't worry, I found the coolest place for both you and me. Wow, that sounds awesome. Come on, sit down and hold on tight. Wow, I can't believe what's happening. We're going for a joy ride. Uh, ah. Why are you yelling? You started picking up speed so abruptly, I was a little scared. Huh, I drive like that all the time, so I'm fine with it. Cool. Oh, here's that cool place I was talking about earlier. Uh, okay. Well, your assignment is going to be pretty simple. Tell me more about my assignment. You'll have to clean up some stuff for me. Uh, but Mikey, it's not just stuff, it's garbage. That won't be a problem, because you were born to do this kind of work, right? What do you mean, huh? Look, you just have to clean up this obscure, brown, horrible-smelling puddle. Oh my god, what if I don't want to? There's no such word as don't want, there's the word must. Oh! You want food, so work for food. Uh, but how do I do that? Hee hee hee. No! Ah! Ew, oh my god, ew. Mikey! Whoa ha Oh my god! You're right where you're supposed to be, you beggar pig. Oh! Did you really think I'd help someone like you? Yeah! You're a dreamer, huh? What? Do you know who you are? Hmm, interesting, interesting. You're, uh... I'm who? You're just an insufferable and wealthy guy. And? You're the kind of guy who can't have any real friends. I don't care. You'll regret what you said. No one can live long without comrades around. Oh, what a nightmare. He managed to trick me and humiliate me again. Hey, aren't you sick of this injustice? Oh my god, it's the Skibbity Wizard. I have one offer for you. You can't refuse. Uh, Let's talk. No, no, I can figure out my own problems. He's a dangerous criminal. I've got to run. I must survive. I must survive. Stop and listen to me. Uh, I can switch you and that green rich guy back and forth. Huh, what? Your life will improve and you can get your revenge. Oh, I'd really like to switch places with Mikey. Please perform a miracle, Mr. Wizard. <sighs> oh, Mr. Wizard. Uh, where am I? I don't look like I'm in the Skibbity Wizard's lair. Wow, there's a TV in here. Uh, and so much cool stuff. If this isn't his lair, then where am I? Oh, that's right. That wizard said he was gonna switch us with Mikey. This must be his computer. Cool. In a previous life, I would never have had the opportunity to get a computer like this. Wow, the views are beautiful. Wow, he had his own pool. And his house is so huge, I'm shocked. I'd probably be spoiled too if I had that many amenities. Viewers, would you start humiliating others because they are poorer than you? Yes or no, write in the comments. Oh, this room is so cool. Uh, JJ, oh, you're awake already. Yeah. Great, how'd you sleep? You were screaming strangely, so I came to check on you. Uh, I slept fine, but who are you? This is the first time I've seen you. Oh, JJ, you're having another nightmare. Wait, what? I'm your dad, and your mom's waiting for us. Oh my god. So let's not keep her waiting, and let's go downstairs. Hurry up, hurry up. Wow, is this real? 
I have parents. You all have no idea how happy I am to have a family. JJ. Oh. Me and your mom will have to leave for work by now, so you'll have to be home alone for a while. Uh, yeah, okay, no problem. Come on, breakfast is waiting for you. Uh, okay. Honey, I brought him. Finally, I was beginning to worry. Uh, good morning. Yeah, good morning, JJ. You've been sleeping a lot lately, so let's make a pact that you'll be sitting at your computer less tonight. Uh... And since we're coming in a little late today, hmm. here's some pocket money so you won't miss us. We'll give you more money tomorrow, so don't be shy and spend as much as you want. Oh my god! Cool! Thank you so much! It's time for us to go, darling. Let's go! Uh, what am I supposed to do while you're gone? Maybe do some house cleaning or dishes? Huh, JJ, we have a robot vacuum cleaner and a dishwasher. Just play and have fun. You don't have any other tasks. Really? Yeah, bye-bye. Oh! JJ, we're really really in a hurry. Uh, okay. We're gonna miss you so much, bye. Have a good day at work, both of you. I'll look forward to seeing you at home, bye. 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 Wow, my parents are so great. I used to live all alone, but now I have a family that loves me. How great is that? Now I have the wonderful life I could only dream of. What should I be doing right now? Oh, that's the car. Mikey used to drive this car, but where is he now? Hmm. I just have to check out the place where I used to live. If Mikey and I switched lives, he's going through a very bad time. I need to get there and see it all in person. Wow, I love being behind the wheel of this car so much. And I've already driven so fast to the very village where I used to live. Uh, Mikey? Oh, what? Oh, it's really you. Hmm. Well, I'm not going past him. I've got a lot to say to him. Let us see who he has become and who I am now. Hey, you. Uh, you remember me, huh? Are you ignoring me? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm starving. I can't think straight. Hmm. Stranger, could you give me some food? You really don't remember me at all, do you? Oh, hmm. Okay, well, where are your parents? I've been living alone for years. I don't have parents. Oh. Now this shelter made of newspapers is my home. That doesn't look very cozy. Yeah, don't you think it's not cozy at all? You have a campfire. Cool. But it's warm. At least I won't die of cold, but of hunger. No, I'm not going to let that happen. Well. I'll help you. You can have a full meal whenever you want. <gasps> hmm. No one has ever been so kind to me. Yeah, I know how you feel. I'll do anything you ask. You just say the word and I'll do it. You'll do anything I say? Sure, I gave you my word. Huh, what? And you're so good to me, I can't break my word. Let's be friends, Mikey. Stop. What? Are you serious? Yeah. Holy mother spaghetti. Wait, what? Of course I want to be your friend, but wouldn't I be a burden to you? Of course not. How can my friend be a burden to me? Ooh. My name's JJ. What's yours? My name is Mikey. It's a pleasure to meet you, JJ. Nice to meet you, too. Finally, I won't be alone. Yay. Cool. A few moments later... It's a beautiful morning of a new day, but this new day begins in the same old gorgeous house I live in. Hee hee hee. A rich life is a good thing. Wake up and go straight to a delicious breakfast. I love it! As usual, exquisitely served food that will give me energy for the whole day. Also so delicious. Breakfast time. Bon appetit to me. What a deliciously prepared meal. I'm thrilled. Big meeting today. Good thing I slept in. Hey, Mikey. Good for you for eating breakfast. I have an important meeting with my sponsors today. Wow, that's great. Will you take me to see it? Sure, Mikey. Let's go together. Thanks, Dad. I'll learn to negotiate and be as rich as you. Come on, Mikey. We gotta get to the meeting on time. We're gonna ride in your new sports car. Yeah, Mikey. On it. I'm gonna take you for a nice long ride. Thanks a lot, Dad. You're the best dad in the world. You'll remember this trip for the rest of your life. We'll have a good time together. Of course, son. Let's talk about something. Okay, let's go. Oh, sorry. I got a call from work. Hi, I'm on my way. I'll be right in the time. We won't be late. Don't worry. I'm responsible in my business. Are you stupid or something? I told you 30 times not to buy that stock. I don't care that there was an opportunity to sell them. You screwed up. Dad? I don't care what happened in there. You're losing my money, not yours. Either you fix it and give me my money back or I'll fire you. Jesus, this place is so uncomfortable to sleep in. I just can't get any sleep. Like and subscribe to the channel if you sleep on a comfortable and soft bed. Let's see how many of you are lucky. I wonder where mom is. Probably went to look in the trash for something useful. I hope she finds us something to eat. Mommy! Mom, are you here? Did you find anything interesting? Or at least something to eat? Good morning, son. No, I didn't find anything. We don't have anything to eat. Are those huge bins of garbage empty of everything we need? Yes, JJ. There's been nothing interesting here since yesterday. I'm really hungry, Mom. I'm gonna go see what's in the neighboring dumpster. You can go to the box and wait for people to help us. All right, Mom. Hopefully someone will be passing by. It's very sad to live in poverty when every day you live in the hope of just at least having something to eat. And as usual, there's not a single soul around us. Now I will sit and wait for people to notice my sign and be able to give my mom and I something delicious to enjoy. Look, someone's coming. Please help me. I don't think they saw me. 
No, they've turned around and they're coming at me. Apparently, they want to help me with the food. Yay, you have a very cool car. I like it. Here, look, son, a prime example. If you don't study, you'll just sit around begging for food from rich people. Wait, what? You should be ashamed to sit like that. You even let yourself answer me. I didn't do anything bad to you. Why are you doing this? I sure did. You've ruined my mood with your looks and your behavior. Dad, calm down. Let's go help him. Of course we will. Let's give him those rotten potatoes. Let him be happy now he can eat. Really? Why are you doing this, Dad? So he knows that in order to eat normally, you have to do normal things, not beg for food. I don't believe it. Please forgive my dad. I don't know what got into him. I'm so ashamed of what happened. I'm sorry. Never mind. You better follow your daddy. Why do so rich people treat poor people so badly? It's not like we've done anything to them. Write in the comments what you would do in their shoes. Would you help me, or would you also throw a rotten potato? I have to find my mom and tell her what happened. What am I supposed to do with these potatoes? It's all rotten. Maybe I should throw it away. I didn't find anything in that dumpster. Anybody help you, son? There were some people driving by in a sports car. They mocked me, and all they gave me was a rotten potato. Oh my god, are you okay, JJ? Yeah, I'm fine. I didn't get upset with them. Well done, son. No need to worry. They is rotten potato, but don't worry. At least we'll be able to eat. That's great, Mom. I'm so glad because I'm really hungry. I can't sleep. I keep thinking about that boy who wanted food. Daddy was very rude to him. I can't just let it go. I'll go to them tomorrow and offer him my help. I'll try to get him in the house, as long as Dad doesn't notice. The next day. It's morning at last. Now I can go and help the boy. I really hope he doesn't back out because of yesterday and forgive me. Is someone here or is it just me? Ah, Mikey, where are you going? Do you need a ride? So that you don't have to walk, but drive. Eh? Uh, no, Dad. Thank you very much. I just went out for a little walk. The weather's great today. I just want to get some fresh air. All right, son. Don't go far away. Okay, bye. Goodbye, Mikey. Jesus! As long as my dad doesn't find out where I'm going, he'd be really pissed if he knew. We'll have to get him in carefully so daddy doesn't see. A new day, and once again I didn't get a good night's sleep, and my mom is still searching through the trash for anything useful. We need to go and tell her the truth. Mom, look, I can't be here anymore. It stinks. I can't sleep. I'm tired. I understand you, son. I'm sorry. I can't help it. It's the way life is. It's the way we have to be. But mom, I can't be here anymore. Let's try to fix something. Let's find something soft and put it in our house. For what? So I could at least get a decent night's sleep. Just once. Okay, son. I'll figure something out. Okay, thank you so much, mom. Look! What's the matter? There's a boy walking towards us. Hey, hey! Hello, all of you! I remember that boy. He's the one who used to come over with his dad and pick on me. They threw rotten potatoes at me. Yeah, we came to see you yesterday. That was me. I'm Mikey. He seems like a good boy, but inside he's as rotten as a potato. Yeah! That's not true. No offense to me about yesterday, please. My dad was angry, and I was ashamed of myself. Why'd you come here, Mikey? Are you here to apologize or to help? I'm here both to apologize and to offer you a place to stay at my house. Only in secret from Daddy. Wow, man, wow. I'd love to sleep in a nice house instead of this hole. I think we should take Mikey up on his offer, son. I totally agree with you, Mom. My name is JJ, by the way. Nice to meet you. I'm really glad you said yes. I couldn't sleep all night because of yesterday. Let's go in the direction of my house. I'm very happy, Mikey. Thank you for offering us such a favor. You're welcome. I'm really glad you said yes. Let's hurry up, it'll be dark soon. Is that how big your house is? Dad bought it and now we live here. Do you like the way it looks? Yeah, I like it a lot. You'll be living here now too. A super big house. So glad you are helping us, thank you so much. You're welcome. Let's go inside now. I originally thought Mikey wanted to mess with us, but it's like we're really going into his house now. All right, look. Daddy's home on the first floor now. I'll take you up to the attic so Daddy won't find you. Let's go in quietly so we won't be seen. Okay, we get it. Let's go! I'm opening the doors. Welcome, come on in. We're going in. Wow, it's so spacious and super beautiful. This is the first time I've seen a house like this. Come on, don't waste any time. Get up the stairs. Yes, JJ, stay tuned and keep your voice down. All right, let's hurry up. Will we have a place to sleep in the attic? Mikey, stop. Oh, no. Yeah, Dad, hi. Did you want something? You walked in and didn't even say hello or approach. Is something wrong? No, Dad, I'm fine. I'm just really tired and sleepy, so I went straight upstairs. Oh, I got it. All right, son, good for you. Go up to your room and get your strength for tomorrow. He looked in my direction and didn't see me. How lucky I am. He has no idea we're in his house. Everything's great, guys. Hurry up. We were almost spotted. It was dangerous, but a lot of fun. The main part of our mission is accomplished. Now it's down to the easy part. Just go up to the attic and make your beds. That's great, Mikey. The three of us are like undercover spies. We're doing 10 out of 10 on our mission so far. We're almost there. This is where the room can't be occupied because of you can be seen. That's too bad. This room is great. I'd love to live here. 
And this right here is the entrance to your new room. That's great. I can't wait to see it. Welcome to your new home, friends. Wow, what a beautiful room. It's really a lot of pipes and stuff. That's all right. It won't hurt us at all. The room certainly isn't the best but I think it's much more comfortable than sleeping outside. Sure, Mikey. We're very grateful to you. Absolutely don't care that there's a lot of stuff here. My mom and I have been living in a dumpster for a long time, and this room is heaven for us. That's great. You'll be sleeping on these. Unfortunately, there are no beds, but they're soft enough for a good night's sleep. Sure beats sleeping on the floor. Thank you so much, Mikey. You're very good to us. We really appreciate it. You're welcome, friends. Make yourselves comfortable. Mikey, where's the restroom next door? You can go next door, as long as your dad doesn't see you. Thank you, friend. You saved us. Come see us tomorrow. Bye. I'll be sure to come over and spend some time together. I'll bring some board games. Good night. We're very lucky, JJ. That's a very kind boy. He brought us to his house and gave us a room. He made us a bed, too. What a great kid. It's true. He's super kind. I can finally get a good night's sleep. I'm very tired today, son. You can enjoy our new room, but I'm going to bed. Okay, Mom, good night. Mommy's asleep. She deserves to sleep. She's done a lot for me. Be sure to give us a like if you're happy for us. And now we can go to bed in peace and quiet. The next morning. Where did I put the damn tools? They're always in plain sight when you don't need them. As soon as I need to fix a faucet, the tools are gone. It's ironic, isn't it? If they're not in any of the rooms, then I probably took them to the attic and just plain forgot about them. I'll have to go upstairs and make sure. The tools are probably in there. God, where could I have put them? Hole in the head forgot everything. I need to sign to what I'm doing. It's even more correct. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff in here, so this is probably where my tools lie. What the hell is that? What are you doing in my house? How did you even get in here? Hello, your son Mikey invited us here, said we could stay here. I'm not a thief. What? How dare you talk about my son like that? Oh my God. Get out of here, you homeless man. I'm going to call the police and tell them how you snuck into my house and decided to steal from me. I'm sorry, please. He's not lying to you. What? Whose voice is that? It's a beautiful voice. I'm that boy's mom. He's telling the truth. We didn't break into your house to steal anything from you. Your son let us in. What happened to him? Sir, why don't you say something? Are you all right? I think he was speechless when he saw you, mom. Wait, don't swear. Wait, what's going on here? Dad! I'm so sorry I didn't tell you, but you wouldn't have let them in. And these are my new friends now. Mikey, your dad lost his speech when he found out I was here with my mom. What? Dad, what's wrong with you? I'm fine. I've just never met such a beautiful lady before. I'm so sorry, kid, that I yelled at you. I didn't know you were telling the truth. My name is JJ. Mikey, what's with your dad? Is he in love with my mom? I don't understand anything yet, JJ. What are we doing standing around talking in the attic? Let's go downstairs to the living room. Why? You want to kick them out, Dad? That's what I thought. I think we can be a beautiful family all together. Let's go talk about it soon. You heard it, Mikey. Now we're going to share a room together. I'm very happy about that. We were able to take you in. Now we will spend time together all the time. And it all started when you managed to sneak me and my mom into your attic. Yay! What wonderful coincidences there are in this world. Write in the comments what you would do if you were Mikey's dad. Like the video if you think his dad did the right thing. Stay tuned for more. See ya! Thank you.